and very happy to see you on my channel. This video, we give you a piece of breaking news. Camilla desperately tells Charles, Harry has betrayed you. The heir is being urged to cut ties with Harry. Even before the rest of the world knew that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were taking a break from the royal family, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, was watching her husband, Prince Charles, despair over his youngest son and new daughter-in-law. For hours into the night, Charles would bemoan to Camilla that less than two years after he threw them the wedding of the century, he would be forced to put out fires involving moody Prince Harry and his demanding wife Meghan as their staffers quit in droves. And then, when the young couple announced they would be leaving Britain in an adolescent-like huff, Palace aides add, Camilla was there as he came to terms with the fact that their 15-month-old grandson, Master Archie, would be raised in virtual exile on another continent. But worst of all, at least in Camilla's eyes, was their complete lack of sense of duty that Harry's father instilled in both of his sons, says a source. And they have also left Harry's brother, Prince William, and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, to bear the load alone. Now, after the release of Finding Freedom, a book thought to have had indirect input from Harry and Meghan that laments their treatment by the royals and has dragged the monarchy into one of its biggest PR scandals in years, Camilla has decided enough is enough. It comes just days after it was revealed an embattled Charles apparently funded Meghan and Harry's newly purchased $20 million family home in Santa Barbara, which they moved into last month. A source says, while all this is going on, with the institution's reputation in tatters and grieving a once tight-knit family dynamic, Harry still has the guts to phone his dad up to ask for money. It's completely galling to Camilla. After everything Harry has put his father through, complained about, and thrown tantrums over, he's still coming cap in hand back to the Duchy of Cornwall for pocket money. She's not having it anymore and has told Charles in no uncertain terms that this has to stop now. She fears Charles is becoming a soft touch in his old age and the Sussexes are taking advantage of that. And Camilla isn't the only one with concerns. Graham Smith, CEO of Republic in the UK, says the money Charles is using to fund the Sussexes is public money, which belongs to us, the taxpayer. Meanwhile, not only is Camilla desperate, Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, is also said to speak up about her husband. She is very angry because the new biography book claims William threw Harry off the bus. Apparently, Harry was instigated by his betrayal wife to distance himself from the royal family and his brother. A source revealed, Kate was extremely angry. She had all welcomed Meghan from the very first days. But the fact that she was treated badly has worsened the relationship. Even so, rumors of conflicting sisters-in-laws are commonplace in this family, as is the case with Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson. Her anger was caused by leaks implying that her husband, Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, suffered a bad reputation. The source continued, William has always been the best brother to Harry. He does not hesitate to extend his arms to hug his brother. However, it seems the whole thing has been betrayed in the revelations from the book. The source confirmed, William is suffering from the information that affects him and the monarchy. He tried his best, but Harry seemed manipulated by his wife. And it seems the royal family is also unable to sit still, as reportedly, the Queen landed in Los Angeles to save Harry from Meghan's hands. As for Kate... She tries to contact Harry via FaceTime to clarify and persuade him to wake up from Los Angeles. She was also ready to open her arms to welcome him and Archie back to the UK, where George, Charlotte, and Louis need to communicate and play with their cousins. Indeed, Daily Mirror also reports there were rumors of a fallout between Meghan and Kate, and a royal editor has claimed Meghan Markle had an unrealistic expectation of her relationship with the Duchess of Cambridge. 
Emily Andrews, the Mail's royal editor, claims that Meghan expected too much from her very busy sister-in-law. Speaking on the Channel 5 documentary, Meghan and Harry, The New Revelations, she explains, I think it seems that Meghan had a very unrealistic expectation of her relationship with Kate. If you look at it from the Cambridge's point of view, they don't know this woman at all. From their point of view, they absolutely did welcome her into the family. William and Kate invited Meghan to a Her- and Harry to apartment 1A. Kate met Meghan pretty early on in their relationship. I think from William and Kate's point, they did try and help as much as possible, but they were at a very different stage of life. And she's not the only Roe expert to have these thoughts. With Vanity Fair's Katie Nicole adding, while there might have been an expectation from Meghan that Kate was going to sit down and show her the ropes, perhaps that was an unrealistic expectation. The Duchess of Cambridge is a busy woman, but Meghan clearly took that personally. Meanwhile, in other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were reportedly disappointed by the final Megxit deal the Queen laid out for them. But... Many fans also slammed them for that. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made the life-changing decision to quit the royal family, they gave up a lot. They were no longer allowed to use their HRH titles, had to close their popular Sussex Royal Instagram account, and were forced to say goodbye to many of the charities and organizations they were passionate about. But while Meghan turned her back on a two-year stint in the firm, it was all Harry ever known. And he left behind an entire lifetime of tradition and duty. There were reports that the couple was upset and disappointed by many of the Queen's demands when it came to working out the logistics of their non-royal futures. But many commented that these roles had to come to an end. A source told The Sun, Always like Harry, but when he married Meghan, he messed up. She is an ignoramus, manipulative, Selfish and attention-seeking spoiled brat. What does Marco know about the way the royal family works? What a cheek. I hope Harry won't regret it. He gave up more than she did. Everything he knew went up in a puff of smoke. For what? His child will be a stranger. As he carried out his royal military duties for the last time, he was heard saying, I'm devastated that I'm having to stand down. Clearly, idiots. The Queen's first responsibility is to the UK, not to pander to a couple of spoiled brats with entitlement issues. If just Harry was unwilling to fulfill the responsibilities of a working royal, then that's it. He doesn't get to cherry-pick the parts he wants to benefit from while shunning the rest. He knows that, even if his crazy wife does not. The source added, These two are beyond ridiculous. Basically, they want to keep all the titles, honorary and royal, without having to lift a finger, or even live in the country. Far from showing them in a positive light, finding freedom has only made Harry and Meghan look like a couple of spoiled, selfish, whiny, bratty little snots who throw temper tantrums every time something doesn't go their way. They want out of the royal family, and that is what they got. It wouldn't be just be the Queen's decision. The royal courtiers, who are experts in tradition, etc., would have had an input. They can't expect to come and go into the family that they wanted out of. All we've heard is moan, 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 me, me, me. Well, the British public is fed up hearing about them when there are more important things like the pandemic, people losing their livelihoods, their homes, businesses, and tragically their family through the virus. I really feel sorry for Harry. He is being dragged down by this woman who has fallen out with her family, her first husband, and now the royal family who welcomed her. She is toxic. And as we went to previously, the sleepy town of Santa Barbara was abuzz, with the world's media gathering on its quiet mountain and streets, all craning for a glimpse of the world's most famous couple. The locals are used to celebrities, after all. The areas where Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres choose to call home but never before has it become the permanent base of British royalty. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex revealed last week they had bought their own home, with a mortgage, no less, within an ultra-private gated estate in the town's Montecito region, 
with insiders exclusively telling us it's a $20 million nine-bedroom, 16-bathroom home, complete with a library, tennis court, arcade, and sumptuous swimming pool. However, the mail revealed, Meghan and Harry's new home sits behind a spooky estate, once old by a schizophrenic son of the inventor of the mechanical reaper, who developed a foot fetish, carrying his slippers in his arms as if they were live pets. It's a dark and disturbing history sure to shock the delicate sensibilities of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan. According to the source, because of their unequal wealth before marriage and Meghan's arrogance and failure to try and cooperate with the institution that gave her worldwide fame and wealth, it is ridiculous to refer to this house as Meghan and Harry's. She is really just tagging along for all she can get. If she had been a genuine person, she would have wanted a house more in keeping with the one she had prior to Harry. She would never fit in this new neighborhood because she is not a star or the wife of a star. She is more like a character on Desperate Housewives, obsessed with money and self-importance. And you, what do you think about this news? Please leave a comment for me below in the comment section and we'll discuss them together. If you see my video so useful, remember to like and share it now for your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any new video from the royal family. Now, thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.